Hey guys, welcome back to Fading Green Records. Today we're doing uh, Two Guys, One List, uh, kind of a spinoff series of Two Guys, One Game, where we're actually talking about music this time. Uh, yep. here we I'm, got... uh, I'm Cole Aspen Knight from The Sister Show. Yep. And this is a uh, music <laughs> tier list. Finger guns. Yeah. So uh, we're doing Metallica two today. Two Guys, One List. So I don't know. I don't know. Have you listened oh, to their oh, new album? Disclaimer. Disclaimer. We decided that we're not doing S and M. We say that at we're the not top. doing S and M. So we'll... people don't get. So the five people who watch this don't go in the comments and be like, "Well, uh, you didn't rank it S and M." Uh, have you As listened to seventy two seasons? Names. Actually, I have listened to like three of the songs on it. Okay, yeah, I was in. A, I was in a big. Well, we'll get, we'll get that. A lot of it. I've heard a lot of the album like in passing as well. Okay, like where I work. So, so uh, we'll start out uh, by the start of discography. I don't know why this is like all out of order, but yeah. Yeah, if you just want to order them, we'll talk about. Uh, I don't know. We'll talk well, about uh, bus what, buses. What, we'll talk a lot about buses. What got you into Metallica? Episode. Do you remember what got you into Metallica? Um, not missing Master Puppets there and accidentally putting fucking. I'm trying to remember if I'm doing this right. I wasn't even paying attention for the moment. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, you're pretty close. You're pretty close. No, that's right. I don't know where Lulu actually falls. To be Lulu's honest, Lulu's before Death Magnetic or like right after. But let's uh, dive straight in with uh, Kill 'Em All. So I know you like the uh, Sweet Home Alabama riff. Yeah, I do. I do. And I, I think once we get everything on the board, we're going to have a lot more argument about where things should really go. I would say for me, Kill 'Em All is at least an A tier. I don't think it can really go lower than that. Yeah, I think uh, for me as well, it's also an A tier. So I think that's an easy one. That's a quick, easy one. You got great songs. Uh, you know, you got I mean, four I think it's in. consistent all the way through. Got four horsemen, hit the lights. I mean, I, I'm just going to, if I say anything, let's honestly just talk about the highlights. Hit the lights, fucking awesome intro. Four horsemen, fucking great. Uh, yeah. Anesthesia, Pulling Teeth, to me, is a great song. Uh, Seek and Destroy, of course, classic. Yeah. I also really I, mean, I think it's a Jump in the Fire. Jump in the Fire is a fucking awesome riff. Yeah. Groovy-ass song. I think it's like nonstop bangers. I just think it's not as fully formed as... Red Lightning, which yeah. we don't have to jump right into. Have I ever told? Did I ever tell you about my or show you my Kill 'Em All CD that I had that would just skip Four Horsemen? Oh no! How it, there was it was it was weird because it wasn't like it was like a cut in the or like a scratch in the CD. It wasn't like skipping. It was like it wasn't on the fucking CD. Hmm. It, it was weird. It would just like skip the track. That's weird. Would it say like one yeah. to one to two and then yeah, just... it would just like skip numbers. So we go one to three on like the album. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I, I don't. Yeah. That is weird. Well, I think. Uh, I mean, there's I, I there's a lot to say. It's, I mean, it's like one of the most iconic, uh, one of the most iconic de- debuts of all time. I mean, it's really what create. I don't want to say created thrash because there's stuff that you know came before it. I mean, there's, I think it's where thrash like coalesces into like being a thing though. In the yeah. like, it's like the most media. undisputable. Th- just purely thrash album where you could say yeah. something like venom is early thrash with their yeah, stuff well there's like there's there's the energy there's like youthful angst and it's like taking hardcore punk type stuff and mixing it with like your traditional metal european yeah. metal it's not quite as um uh, what's the right word it's not quite as like focused on one thing either it's more like it's more focused within like what thrash has become you know what i mean like Venom yeah. and stuff like that is very much like, oh, we're focused on Satanism and stuff like that, which isn't a big part of Thrash, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I um, think also Thrash is where like America gets its own like metal genre, if that makes sense. Because a lot of the metal that in- inspired them came from like Europe, like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, stuff like that. Yeah, and it's definitely um, very different from anything. And like- that area of sound like brought something completely different to it that I think was uniquely an American thing. Yeah, and I honestly think Metallica is still probably the most one of the most unique thrash metal bands because even the thrash metal bands that came out around that time, like Anthrax, doesn't sound anything like Metallica. Megadeth, no. I mean, just has like a garbage I think ass singer. Anthrax, I mean, I, and we have, yeah, I, no, sorry. I love no, Me- no. I love Megadeth, but let's just be honest. Just yeah, no, no, he's a terrible singer. He should not have been singing. But I think Anthrax is weird because I think Anthrax like has kind of. Every Anthrax song and album I've listened to have been, like, somewhat different. I think they just struggle to find a voice. We could do a whole video on that, though. Yeah, they're very, like... I but know, I don't think it's bad. I, they do have, like, a very, like, s- I don't like, skate sound, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah, I think they definitely lean more into the punk side of things. And then, at least like, the earlier stuff. 
Exodus, I feel like, like there's a looseness. Exodus a little more rough than Metallica. I do love Exodus uh, though. Maybe Testament would be like the closest to Metallica. Yeah, but... I think Testament in their consistency and like their sound is probably the closest to Metallica. But even Testament, I think, is their own thing. Yeah. Slightly. Uh, I think uh, the next one up, I think we know, it's just going to be probably an S. Yeah, I think we don't even talk about it. It's S tier. It's S tier. It's one the, I, I am not being hyperbolic. I don't think anybody would tell you are insane. It's just one of the best metal albums of all time. Yeah, and I on it like I have problems with I do have problems with this album. I do love this yeah, album. Yes, I don't I, like the title or not the the opening track. I don't like the opening track. I don't like Fight Fire with Fire. I think it's kind of like a little annoying to me. You know, also, I, I said this to you. 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 I said uh, thin i would describe it but i like that i think it gives it like an edge and an aggression yeah i mean thin but i also like it feels like they're in i don't know it just feels or like, like they're in a fucking big ass the word room. i was looking for i to me it sounds hollow just because i feel like there's a lot of like it sounds like he's screaming into a fucking canyon a lot of times in a lot yeah. of songs i like the vocals on that album though i like that they're but a little bit more out is there like well, and him that. specifically vocally it's the peak of his vocal performances of all time yeah 100 percent I also think I I don't know if this is true. I just know that I've seen it places that the album is sped up as well slightly in post. Interesting. Um, which makes sense. Didn't know about that. But uh, I mean, yeah, it actually like makes everything slightly off key to what it was originally because they sped up the album in post. Now that's either this album or Master of Puppets or it's both. Interesting. Not sure exactly. Uh, so I mean, honestly. There's not much. I mean, uh, that of course that album cover iconic. You know, it's been used yeah. for so much now. I actually kind of think it's like a really boring album cover, but it's iconic because of how good the album is. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the album cover, they is, have an iconic I, logo. I will say it's. I think the, yeah, sorry. Just color color wise is like super fucking unique to me. Like just not unique, but like super fucking '80s, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's weird to yeah. say that, but. Yeah. And I don't know if I can, like, I mean, I probably could whip up a picture of fucking the cover, but I'm not going to do that. Cause I'm well, not... and, like, uh, just on that point, like, Kill em All gives me vibes, and it definitely inspired a lot of this, of, like, more underground, if that makes sense. Like, not as, like, official. Yeah. And then Ride the Lightning is much more just, like, in your face, like, very much, like, a higher production value, but also very set in the time that it came out. Yeah. Also, it's just great merchandise, because it makes a great t-shirt. Of course. Uh, so let's go straight into... Master, Master of Puppets. puppets. What are you I think we got to put it in S tier. I think we got to put it in S tier. You can disagree with me, but I, I think we got to put it in S tier. I'm leaning towards A, but because I think it can, it'll be below. It'll I be think, below Ride the Lightning. Yeah, you know I what I mean. It, it's it's below Ride the Lightning. I think it's S because I think overall this is a better track list than Ride yeah. the Lightning. So I think Ride the Lightning covers. has just perfect like the songs. The highest highs on here are way higher than the highest highs on. Yeah, no, I agree. On Master of Puppets. I, I but, also feel like Master of Puppets is a taste thing because I think that there is more dynamic and like interesting stuff that they were trying to do musically. But if you're looking for that fucking thrash aggression, I think Ride the Lightning beats it out. Yeah. I don't know. I, I have troubles with this album just because, like, I really, like, some of the songs, like, you know, I mean, of course, Master of Puppets is a classic battery. Like, I don't know. There's so much on here that's just I mean, battery really is like one of my favorite riffs of all time that's yeah there's just like and you know you got damage ink which you know it's fucking awesome like, yeah i don't know it's it's tough dude it's it's really i mean tough. um uh but, the thing that should not be is one of my favorite metallica songs and it's very different from a lot of their other music i think yeah it's more like doomy and that really appeals to me like that i, I think the album is more dynamic but i think ride the lightning is more consistent and what you kind of expect. Yeah, and I think this album Metallica. leads more to what like is known for Metallica. Do you know what it's more Yeah. It's more those long uh drawn out I don't want to say drawn out tracks like it's a bad ballads. thing. Ballads. I mean ballad type like Yeah. Thrash ballads. Songs that with movements, yeah. Where no, like absolutely. you still get a lot but of that some songs like Battery. Battery is like a straight up it, it is like classic Metallica or like Disposable Heroes, which is one of my favorite songs on that album like I don't know. 
yeah, but on this track, you don't get a song less than five minutes. You know what I mean? So it's just like it's a yeah. longer album. Like I'm not yeah. saying like I think four minutes is like dude, a good prog, average for a track, prog, dude. But like honestly, you have so for on Ride the Lightning, you have three songs under under five minutes compared to this album, where it's like yeah, you know, every song. Not every song. I definitely think song, it's below Ride the Lightning or two songs around five minutes, and the rest is six plus. Or no, if we did. were going purely based on album covers, though, I think Master of Puppets is the best album cover of the three that are on the board right now. And actually, maybe of the whole catalog. It's yeah. That is the most iconic Metallic album cover, in my opinion. Maybe. It might be the next one, honestly. Yeah, that's true. It is tough. I do love that. I think the next one maybe is my personal favorite by like aesthetics and design-wise. Yep. But uh, what's, I think Master of Puppets this, is the most what's iconic. Speaking of this, what's happening this, and I am yeah, going to be absolutely. in a mixed spot for this, because I... I'm I'm we're gonna just, this, this is the first one I think we're going to actually disagree on. That's the album I'm listening to right now <laughs> as we make this video. So. And uh, I don't think it can go lower than A tier, but I know you disagree. So let's so, talk about it. So, yeah. Why don't you put it in B for now, and I'll try and convince you into putting it in A. Or w put it where you would put it, and I'll try and convince you otherwise. Uh, where you I would mean, honestly put it. Where you would honestly put it. Probably. You know what? Honestly, like, you really hate it is the question. It's more like, to, to me, I'd probably put it in B. Just because, and yeah. I know I'm probably going to get flack for this, this is like the one thing, is just the album. Like, there's so many songs, I just feel like I don't come back to as much on this album as other albums. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I do think it's lower for the fact that its lowest lows are low compared to the rest of their catalog, but its highest highs, I think, are some of the coolest things they've ever made. Yeah, and... Uh, in my also, opinion, and I think there's an emotion and a rawness to this album that is understated a lot, uh, you know, with the passing of Cliff and the album being, like, a lot about that. Um, yeah, I course. think it was, like, their last album where they made music that felt, like, real and personal to me. Yeah. Um, because I, of that, and I think there's something about it. That's understandable. My main problem with this album is I feel like a lot of tracks run on too long. It feels like a run-on yeah. album. Like, you got fucking. Uh, I mean, the title track all, all, almost ten minutes long. I don't think it. I love to it be. though. I'm listening to it right now. I don't even know if it needs to be that long. I mean, you know, one is always going to be like, it's always going to have a place in my heart just because you know it's one of those songs that was fucking played all the. Fucking I think time. it's their best, like you know, the kind of like ballad song that you go to from each album. I think it's the best one in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's Kirk Hammett's best solo of all time. I don't know. I still. I still, of course, personally, just go to Fade to Black. That's personally my favorite. Yes, yeah. I love Fade to Black, but I, I think one has the best Kirk Hammett guitar solo of all time, but, recorded anyway. Like, written yeah, it's guitar it's song. it's tough for me because even like To Live to Die is I, fucking almost ten minutes. It's just like it feels a lot more bloated, I guess, than the. Yeah. No, there's definitely filler, and I will agree with you on one point that I there are songs that I don't go back to very often at all on this album, like I the Beholder. Yeah. Um, Freight ends of sanity. Not even that they're bad songs. Harvester of sorrow. I actually yeah. really like Harvester of sorrow, but. but I don't know. That's my but, thing. Is it's mainly for me. It's just not going back as much as this album. The like going from the albums of past where bass is like a very predominant thing. You know what I'm saying? To this yeah. album where it's like very phased out. Well, you know, when when I was younger, I would say. Oh yeah, it was just that they made poor mixing choices and they treated Jason Newstead shitty. But I think the lack of bass, you know, is kind of like goes along with the emotional context of the album that I was saying. Yeah, like it, it kind of gives it like a deeperness that I don't really mind. And I also think it is, though it's bloated, really aggressive and thrashy. And I think a lot of thrash bands, and I think Testament is a great example. We were talking about them earlier. Take a lot from this album. Yeah. Like, are influenced very heavily by this album. And now, not that we have to rank things based on influence, but I, I do think this album has more influence than people give it credit for. Yeah, and I will say, like, compared to the albums coming, I think this album, well, most of the albums coming up, I think this album is better than most of them. Where I think, like, it possibly just deserves an A because of that. That's why I was kind of struggling before if it should be an A or, yeah. or I a mean, B. Because I think... I think it should be an A if you think it should be a B, but I think it gets A based on... The only reason the I like catalog. if I'm giving if I'm giving Kill 'em All an A, I think and Justice for All deserves an A. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Now, do you I think, think Kill 'Em All should be above or below? I think it should be above, personally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do too. No, I 100 percent agree. I mean, Kill 'Em All for me is like almost an S tier. Yeah, that's. It's like I could put it in S tier and I wouldn't feel bad about it. I think my and problem. So maybe with... at the end we'll reorganize. My problem with Kill 'Em All is mainly the production. It's just. Yeah, it's just not there yet. It steps up like this album. Yeah. Kind of rough production. This album still has kind of a. I think it works better for Ride the Lightning, though. Yeah, I think it works better. And then this album, I think, has, like, damn near perfect production for a thrash metal album. Yeah. I mean, and this album is, steps is... down, I think. I think this steps down to Kill em All level of production. I, I, I will say it steps down. I just have a fondness for it. And I think that also Kill em All just has better songs, like, has more songs I come back to. Yeah. So I well, think speaking that's... of songs that you come back to, let's talk about the song, the album that uh, gets the most radio play. Uh, this one's tough for me because I would maybe if I, I stick if I stick injustice for there I would stick A but if not like B I think of I would put it in B and honestly like hot take I would consider putting it in C I don't, my problem I don't think it's a hot take for people who like are just first four like I think like that's a big thing I'm a first four guy but I I think I also love songs on the Black Album. There are songs on Black Album. I think just like we were talking about with Injustice, but to an even greater degree, the highest highs and lowest lows are so far away from each other for yeah. me. And it's, this album does feel a little bloated. Like, I fucking, I will say, like, Enter Salmon, a classic song to me, fucking awesome. Yeah. Sabatru, Overplayed. Fucking but. love it. Sabatru, awesome riff. Uh, it's been u- used and stolen by a million bands. Uh, Holier Than Thou is pretty good. Unforgiven, of course, I'm a fucking huge Unforgiven fan. So Unforgiven is awesome. Uh, wherever you know, I my room is like is... honestly one of my fucking favorite Metallica songs. That fucking song just fucking really. I see. I kind of find a lot of the songs in this album just like too repetitive and annoying. Uh, I don't my, know. My thing with wherever I'm remote. Wait, hell, oh my god, I can't even speak. Wherever I may roam is like, dude, I fucking love like the more Oriental intro and everything. Like, yeah, I think that shit's fucking awesome. So it just, it does it for me. Do you, do you like of Wolf and Man? Uh, I think it's okay. I don't think it's bad. Because I really like that song, but I've been told that people really dislike that song. So. I don't mind it. I mean, it's fucking, it's kind of a wacky song for them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I will listen to that song if it comes on. It's not like a song I'm like going like, oh man, this is the Metallica song I need to listen to today. Yeah. No, it's actually a song I, I like, like kind of a lot. You know, I'm looking at their Spotify page just real quick as we're talking about it. Mm. I do see that, like, Enter Sandman and Nothing Else Matters are their most played songs. Which, like, in my head, because of what I like about Metallica, I, it wouldn't make sense to me. But I, we were kind of talking about influence with Injustice, and I do think it has to get points for that as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it, you might be able to make the argument it's an A tier based on influence alone. Yeah. And production-wise, nobody can deny the album is produced amazingly. Yeah, and I... There's some songs I just don't know. Like, I do like Through the Never. I think that's a cool-ass song. I think that's more of, like, a, a more retro-sounding fucking Metallica song. I mean, retro, that's, like, yeah. a terrible word. But that sounds more like one of the earlier ones. And there's yeah. songs I just don't, like, come back to. Like, I don't really come back to My Friend of Misery and stuff like that. Like, yeah, the second half of this album, don't really come back to that much. Nothing Else Matters, of course. Like, I hear it sometimes. It's not. I don't think it's a bad song. It's not a bad ballad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not really a thrash song though. It's not really a Metallica song. It's more of a. I mean, I think the Unforgiven is like a better ballad on this album. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like I understand. Like this is more the radio friendly ballad though. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. Well, that's part of the reason I just can't get down with nothing else mattered. It's just too. It doesn't feel like Metallica. Yeah. And Even I... based on things that would come on the albums in the future catalog. Yeah. Like it just doesn't feel like Metallica at all. It feels like they made that song. To get it on the radio. Yeah. It feels very hollow and disingenuous to me. Even if, you know, you could say it's a pretty song. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't. Agreed, agreed. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really mind the song. Like, I'll listen to the song sometimes. Like, if it pops on, I don't really mind it. It's not a song, like, but I don't I mean, really I'm, listen to radio, I and I don't really here. go out to p- places that listen to radio. Um, yeah. So... I'm fine with I'm B- fine with B tier. I'm fine with B tier because I think the highest highs aren't quite as high as Injustice for All. No. And I think it yeah, just, I honestly agree. I think it has slightly more filler. Yeah. Slightly more filler. I, I think it's kinda packed with it, but, but I honestly I'll agree think on B-tier. the underrated songs on this album are 
more underrated than the underrated songs on some of the earlier albums, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure, so. for sure. Uh, just because this song has so, like so many radio hits, so I think it's hard for people to fucking get to that point. I couldn't think of a segue for Garage Inc., but that's the next album. Yep. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I have actually a lot to say about this album. Um, <laughs> I have. I think. Uh, okay, so this is actually. Wait, 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 let's not do this. Let's not do this rock. So we actually have load and reload first. Just looking at. Oh, no, did you did you look up? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's actually after. So load. Damn, we blew our load too early. Can we get a like a drum fill like a but I'm for that? Blood is like too far of a segue the other way from this album. It's them Yeah. It's them trying to go like to be more fucking aggressive and fucking like different. They you were know what I mean? trying to like do a different kind of aggression though. Yeah, it's not quite the aggression of like something you get from like a kill em all. I do think load and reload are the uh the driving influence behind like butt rock, though. Yeah, they're not. I do think. Like, I think every butt rock band wants to be. I'm, I'm just gonna put. The, I'm just gonna put these fucking two up there at the same time because they're damn near yeah. fucking. I put. I put reload above load. So, but I do think there are good songs on both these albums. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I like Unforgiven too. Uh, even though it's yeah. a fucking like. Yeah, I like King song. Nothing. I I think King Nothing is a pretty decent song. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But I definitely yeah. think Load is worse than Reload. Yeah. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Yeah. Listen, I actually like fuel. Uh, and you got, and on on reload you got fuel, you got unforgiven too, you got devil dance, which I actually think is a pretty good song. No, uh, I'm trying to remember which. There's like one song on here I really like, and I can't fucking remember which one it is. Um, is it fixer? No. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely like I I I agree with you there. This is definitely like the thing that levels it to butt rock and i, I actually like, think c c and d work for me the way we have the way you put them on the board i'm a hundred percent on board with those two okay cool wow uh, i don't think we have much yeah. to talk about because i feel like these albums just honestly i don't listen to them as my much least listens they're they, my least listened they also don't have fucking they don't even have the normal metallica logo which looks like ass i will say these albums yeah. look like ass they yeah, I think bad looking they, did realize, they did realize on a branding aspect to bring that back. <laughs> yeah, these albums just look terrible. Yeah, like the covers don't look good. They aren't as iconic. Like even, I mean, just fucking black album looks iconic with the snake. Even though it yeah. looks like you're just a fucking trying to be a cool biker dude. Also, like if you've ever seen like versions of the black album in the wild, it really is just a black cover. Yeah, but the Metallica logo, like the snake, is kind of Hard more see. faded usually. I mean, it's more and like I think this... it works. I feel like, yeah, it's honestly almost like how it is on this fucking tier list. Like, you can fucking barely see it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's also a cool fucking thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah, I really don't have much else to say about these albums. So I think we just kick it to Garage Inc. Where I think, honestly, if we put Reload there, I think this is a C. Cause I think, I has, think Garage Inc. is above Reload, though, because it's got more good songs on it. Um, if you would agree with that. I mean, I, so for me, I don't like the whole album. I don't think all their covers are good. But first of all, you have Am I Evil, which I is per- awesome. I personally don't like that one. You say no. But I, I, I know. I love Am I Evil, the Metallica version. But also, I think Stone Cold Cr- Crazy is great. I think I think they do a great rendition of it. Um, I think Turn the Page is fucking awesome. Yeah, Turn the Page is like one of my... I think the one thing that's keeping it C for me is honestly that. And Merciful Fate? You know, like... I hate that personally uh, i don't think I, I don't think I it's like merciful it. fate i you know what i mean i do like yeah but, but i like their rendition of it and you can tell they're fans um and whiskey I, in the jar I, I don't really like their cover that much but it's i like, did listen to it a lot so there's like a nostalgia there for me because I've, I've heard it so much also people go crazy for it live which i find very funny um yeah, I, I don't know. And there's, of course, songs that I dislike on the album as well. Uh, also, the last caress on on the on Garage Inc. is not as good as the Live in Mexico version, so there's no reason to listen to it. So, also, uh, what they got to say that I hate, too, is Astronomy, just because I fucking love... Yeah, oh, it's, it's a terrible cover. I love fucking Blue Oyster Cult. Hate that. Yeah. Um, no, no, we agree on that, because we have to do my, Blue Oyster Cult. I don't Cult know. My problem is I'd rather eventually. have original music... 
I'd rather have more original music. That's I, I can agree to put load above it, but, but or, reload, uh, reload yeah. I mean above it. Yeah, that's my problem. Like you know, looking at the songs that I like compared to the songs that I don't like or just don't care about, we might actually have to put this in the top of D. I I could agree with that honestly. Yeah, there's just like I, so much stuff in here that I'm like, ugh, like stuff I I don't think I uh, like. It just feels gross to me when I look at some of these, which is like a weird thing to say, yeah. but you know what I mean? I'm like, ugh. No, absolutely. Some of them, I'm just like, why did you do that? Yeah. So I'm I'm cool with D. If you're top, cool with top of D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, what time it is, dude. Now the uh, one that I actually probably am going to get fucking slammered for. <laughs> well, no. I mean, if, if you want me to not have like a – internet ass hot take or like make like a reactionary take i don't think it is an irredeemable album and i've been told by people and seen some clips of them playing some of these songs live and obviously i think the mixing production is fucking terrible yeah um but i don't think that it's the worst metallica album yeah i actually like find some songs more well I, okay i would put it at the bottom of d is what i would do because I think yeah. I don't I don't but think I could you say also it's... Have things where it's like I'm madly in anger with you. You know, like that is pretty shit. It's, I, it's pretty garbage. I have like some stuff, some fond memories of saying anger in the song. It's <laughs> I think the documentary is fucking hilarious. When I was a kid and I heard saying anger, man, I was like, oh, damn, the song's like it's fucking mean. It's aggressive, but it's I'm... definitely it's 2003. It is 2003. Yeah. Yeah. It is not... I would agree. I would agree with. The bottom of D. I can agree to that. All right. I S think... tier. Well, I've never listened to Lulu, so you just put it in S tier. Yeah. <laughs> Top of S tier, please. <laughs> I think it's the lead that right. has to be bottom of F. Um, I think we should put it in the top of F tier just so the thumbnail would look funny. Yeah. I mean, maybe we'll do that for the thumbnail. Just piss people off. We'll, like, blur, we'll blur out every other album, but then have Lulu at top of S. Yeah. Well, and then we, we'll uh zoom in on our faces on either side of the tier list like box and our eyes will be like edited to be like super huge and we're like making the o face yeah of course and like five red arrows pointing to lulu all right um uh, yeah i don't think there's much to say about lulu it's a bad album all right i think death magnetic is the one that you and i are going to disagree the hardest on that's where it is for me i think bottom of c tier bottom of c tier yeah I would do I, bo- I, I would do bottom of D tier, <laughs> or bottom of B tier, not T tier. Bottom of D tier. I mean, if you want to put it in there, that's totally fine. But I don't think it's that bad. Uh, first of all, kind of back to the album cover conversation. I do think this album cover is fucking awesome. I do also really like this album cover. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It is like, I will actually two thousands ass fucking album cover, but it also is like sick. Where I where I would put it is fucking bottom of B actually, just because I think the fucking the mixing is worse than fucking. Uh, Black, Black album. album, but my problem is like, dude. I this... mean, listen, all yeah. nightmare long, the day that never comes. I like those fucking songs, dude. Unforgiven three. This also. was this that was, was just your, or that was just your life. Also, a fucking great song. That was I don't yeah. know. That's a great fucking thrashy intro track. This doesn't get enough love in my you know, opinion. I, I think it's only fair. I, I'll I would agree to bottom of B, because it's only fair, based on how I feel about the other Metallica albums. Like I. I like this album just because it has, like, a decent amount of good tracks on it. It's also the one, like, Cyanide I really liked. Yeah. Uh, I believe, I want to say... I think it's a good comeback from being in a really shitty period. Yeah, this is probably the most, like... I think they have gotten better at getting... Better at getting better. You know what I mean? Yes. I know, I agree. Or they were. And and that's what I think leads right into Hardwired. Also a great album cover, in my opinion. I would put hardwired above i kind of want to put it above the black album but i think that's just a hot take but i would put it above uh death magnetic see i'm at the opposite i it, I, I would put it on the other side just because this album doesn't resonate with me as much yeah but like well, i can understand me pretty well moth I, into flame atlas rise hardwired i think i'm at a weird Step spot because i i hated so i saw them on tour at this time and okay. their second leg, I saw them in 2018, so it's their second leg of the tour. Okay. Uh, so I saw them Hardwired Live or whatever the fuck it was called. It was not good. These songs weren't okay. bad live, but I'm just saying, like, overall. But his voice probably ruined it. Yeah, it was not good. Maybe it was because they were on two years straight. But I think I also, the recorded versions sound good. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, like, not, I think this is more. 
more thrashy. It's not A tier. More thrashy. I I could I could understand it being there. You know what I mean? I honestly yeah. But I could also I, understand it being at the top of C tier instead. I prefer. Like, I personally prefer Death Magnetic, but I don't think you could go C tier with this if you have Death Magnetic in B. Yeah, that's fair. But if I would agree to having Death Magnetic above it, I think. Okay. I if th only for his voice. If only for his vocal deterioration. Yeah, I think this album is and more... continuous uh, effort to hide it or make it sound like it's not that bad, which is why the next album is not going very high. Yeah, I would... Because what, my main problem with this album is that his vocals, it's getting harder for them to hide it. They're trying harder to hide it, and it just sounds fake. Like, they might as well just AI his voice into the Honestly, fucking Honestly, I would song. put this... I put it below Saint Anger. I'd put it below Saint Anger. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I Wait, was listen, I was gonna put it there the originally, that I've heard, but I think this the is, songs that I've heard are not necessarily bad. Yeah, I've but listened they're to also. Yeah, sorry. I, I was just gonna say I've listened to a decent amount of it, and I just don't put any songs on my playlist. Like, there's no songs. None of them are remember like memorable to me. And one I fucking hated. I hated Lux Eterna. I have to say, like that song. Yeah, Lux Eterna was fucking terrible. There was some. I think I think I I've been say, like Shadow. What I've heard beyond lights. that. Yeah, maybe I don't know. But you let, let me look at let me look at the, the, the track list. Um, Lux Eterna I did not like. I really turned me off. And was that the first single? Uh, yes, that Lux Eterna was the first single. That's when I well, that was like, a terrible like, fucking first. Kind of refused. Single. I was like, I'm not listening to this album. And it's more recently that I've actually listened to this album because someone was like, Oh, this is actually great. Still yeah, don't like I've it been that told much. the same. So I've I've listened to a little bit. Of it. I think the title track, you know, is not terrible. Um, yeah. and Shadows Fall is not terrible. But... You know what? I I think. No, I, I just don't know. Because this is like a mix. I think this is more of a raw album. Like, this is a raw Metallica album. Even though it's a little yeah. more less Metallica, like early four Metallica. This is more closer to these, and this is more closer to these. Yeah. But I think this is a better version of these albums. What it's trying to be. Than this it's is... a better version of what it's trying to be. Yeah. Absolutely. It, I mean, Metallica, uh, 72 Seasons, like... As far as thrash, because they are trying to be more thrashy. They've been since De Death Magnetic trying to recapture that. Yeah. And that's great. But I would, like, rather listen to Testament's newest album. Of course. Yeah, 100%. You know? 100%. I agree with you there. And then, uh, honestly, I'm just going to say this is here because it's probably better than Reload. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I would like to, the only last argument we have to have is you need to put Lulu at the top of S tier right now. Okay, of course. There we go. All right, guys. Well, say, guys, that's the tier list. That's what we think about Metallica. Thank you all no, very no much for tiers, watching. So I think that's pretty good. Yeah, thank you all very much for watching. That's uh, it for here. Drop a comment. Tell me what you were thinking that we were fucking wrong about. Uh, tell us we're probably wrong about 72 seasons, that we were wrong about uh, – what other album? Oh, we were wrong about this. Well, this needs to be um, fucking like S. I'm to be top of S. You know, um, they're probably uh... – Yeah, we were wrong about Reload and Load because those need oh, to be yeah. – Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, give me Fignook and give me records. Uh, 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 uh.